Hey guys, this is Carissa Bonham from I Love Painted Rocks, and today I am going to show you guys a cool rock painting technique. And what you need is some piece, a piece of plastic film, and um, you can use saran wrap. I'm one of those people who, I don't use saran wrap in my house, but my mom had some dry cleaning bags, and so we use that, and it's the same thing. Now you want kind of a thinner film. We tried this with a, um, like a Ziploc bag, and that plastic was too thick, so don't use that. You want something really thin, kind of like saran wrap, or you can reuse, um, I was thinking, you know, like those inflatable air pockets you get from Amazon, like if you cut those up, that would be good too. Okay, so put down a piece of plastic. And then you need paint. And the kind of paint that I've been using is this folk art multi-surface paint. And I like this because it sticks really good to rocks and it um, will be, it's self-sealing. And I like, I like that anytime my art self-seals, like that's cool. And the thing that I wanted to show you too, these rocks that I'm gonna pull out, excuse me. Um, if you have been painting rocks for a while, you might remember how a year or two ago, Home Depot used to have these really beautiful white rocks and they were like this and they were super smooth and you could just write on them with a Posca pen and they were beautiful. And then they like burnt through their supply of those and then they started stocking these. They were calling them the same thing in the same bags but they were terrible and they're rough and they're pity and they like are not nice to write on with paint pens. But when you use this paint technique, it really smooths out the surface. So like this is one of these same gross pity ones and it was nice and smooth. So then I could write on it with my Posca pen and it turned out really nice. So that is like a cool hack to sat, like salvage your bag of gross rocks that you bought from Home Depot. Uh, and I like having the ones, even if they're kind of flat, even if they're a little pity, then once it's dried, then you can write on it with a Posca pen. So that's cool. Okay, so we need some colors. Oh, all the colors, oh my heck, look, all the colors. I really like blue. I made a whole bunch that were blue, maybe purples. Purple? You kind of want complementary colors because they're kind of kind of smushy together. And then I like to throw like a metallic one in there. Okay, so I've got light purple, dark purple, silver, dark blue. So what you do next on this plastic, you shake your paint up and then you just kind of drop some drops or you can drizzle if you want. I was doing some drizzling the other day and that turned out cool. So I'm just like putting blobs, blob, blob, blobity blob. Here's a dark purple. Here's my white. So I'm blobbing kind of all around there. They're not even necessarily touching each other, but they're, you know, close. Okay, and then the silver, I think this is cool when there's just like a hint of silver running through it. So I like to kind of drizzle this around. Okay, so I've got plastic wrap, I got blobs of paint. And now I'm gonna get my rock. I like this one. Okay, we're gonna get this rock. And this rock has a flat side and kind of a bumpy side. And I think what I'm gonna wanna do with the rock is right on the flat side. So I'm gonna put the flat side down. But the cool thing about this technique is it works on uneven rocks. So you put your rock down into your paint like this, and then you gather up the plastic around it, and then you flip it over, look at this, and then you kind of smush it around with your finger and kind of play with it a little bit. And kind of move it around, and that rubs it all over the rock. And sometimes like this is kind of rubbed around to the back of the rock. So that's cool. If you want it to do that, smush it some more on the back to make sure it's got paint. I can feel that there's kind of a lot of paint on here. Smooth it out. Okay, so that's cool. So now, whoa, you're gonna open it up. Look at this, how cool is this? Uh, so um, this one, whoa. So it's got this side. This side actually turned out super cool, but it's, see, you can see it's kind of like the same paint pouring technique. This one actually, it looks like it like it got a lot of, I'm gonna try and get some of this paint off because it's really thick. I'm worried it's not gonna dry very good. There we go. Okay, so we smoothed out some of the paint. It's pretty cool. I think this is pretty cool. And then if you don't like how it turned out, you can kind of blot it with your finger and kind of move it around a little bit if you want. Boop, 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 boop. You can kind of smear it on the plastic some more if you want. There we go. 
Okay, so then I'm gonna set this aside. I have this drying rack that I use just for rocks, but there's so much paint on this plastic, I could totally do another one. So I'm going to. Okay, and then I'm gonna wrap, wrap my rock up. So look, this, I mean, if this had been a paint pouring project, I would have used all that paint on one rock and had a ton of waste. Like I just did a second one. And then if you wanna stick with the same color, so that one was really subtle. I'll show you guys again. This one was really subtle that I just pulled off. It's like purple and white, kind of like a purple and white cloud. But now that I've kind of got all the colors of mashed together, we can add some more highlight colors. So let's add some more like dark blue and maybe like a little bit of black. And what about, we'll try some metallic gold. That would be fun. Water, that'll be interesting. Alrighty. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try this is like a medium sized rock. Okay, let me try this one. Put it down in the paint. Wrap it up. Smush it. Alright, let's see. It's like a fun surprise. Ooh, look from the back. That looks kind of cool. I'm gonna like rub some of this paint around over here on the back. See what it looks like when you flip it over. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm gonna like, you know what I want to do? Sorry, I just like to mess with stuff. Can't leave anything alone. Let me wrap this back up. You got too much black for me. Smear it around on there. Ooh. There we go. Hmm. So that's cool. Ooh, I like how that side turned out. That's cool. So let me show you one more time, and this time I'm going to speed it up. You get a piece of plastic film, and you go ahead and you put blobs or swirls of paint in different complementary colors that do not make brown if you mix them together. They're usually near each other on the color wheel. Don't choose things that are direct opposite of each other's ones. Teal, blue, a little bit of light pink and silver. Then you put your rock down into the paint, gather up the plastic, flip it over and kind of smush it around. Especially if you have kind of a pity rock, it's important to kind of work the paint in so that the different kind of um, divots in the rock can absorb the paint. Once you've smushed it around a little bit, you can open up your plastic and see how it turned out. Now, if parts didn't pick up the paint, just kind of blot it on there a little bit. And if you pick it up like here and it looks like there's kind of a lot of paint on one side, you can kind of blot it and then smush it back against the plastic to smooth it out. You can play with it, add more colors, do whatever, and then set it aside and to dry and when it's done drying you can write on it with paint pens posca paint pens are my favorite and they work really great on these rocks